Hello and welcome to Daily Records. I am Tommy Burton and today I want to talk about one of the greatest country duos of all time. And I'm going to talk more about them than I am this specific record, but we are going to talk about the tracks from the record. Uh, this is Lester Flat and Earl Scruggs, collectively known as Flat and Scruggs. Uh, and this is their greatest hits album. Uh, now, this album, uh, they were actually known as the Foggy Mountain Boys, uh, and they were a, an American bluegrass group, uh, and they were founded by Flat and Scruggs, Lester Flat, uh, guitarist, and Earl Scruggs, a banjo player. And uh, many people uh, view them as one of the great bluegrass uh, groups in the history. They, they were formed in the late 40s. After Flat, who had been a member of uh, Bill Monroe's uh, bluegrass band, and he uh, brought Earl Scruggs with him after he left that band, and so they um, they recorded and performed together until '69 uh, in different incarnations, uh, and and like I said, just seen as one of the great great groups um, that that ever performed together. Uh, now, uh, they had, uh, they showcased the fiddle player, uh, Paul Monroe, Paul Warren, sorry about that, slip of the mouth, uh, and he was just a, a master player, and his, and, and that was one of the things that set this group apart, they had great technique, and they were sort of the, uh, the, the masters of the bluegrass breakdown, it was just this fast, uh, style, um, they just were, were, were incredibly, uh, good, good pickers. Now, um, Flad died in 79. He was 64 years old, but they were inducted into the Country Music Hall of Fame, and uh, they were ranked on the CMT list of the greatest men of country music, uh, and they were only on there um, as as one of only four non-solo artists. Uh, the Eagles, Alabama, Brooks, and Dunn are the other ones. Uh, and Earl Scruggs finally uh, passed away uh, from natural causes in uh, 2012 in Nashville. So he lived a, a good full life. But the band featured, um, in addition to uh, Paul Warren, um, there was Josh Graves, who played uh, Do Dobro. Um, little Jody Wayne Rainwater played bass. Uh, Hilo Brown also played bass with them. Um, Mac Wiseman on guitar. Uh, Billy Constable also played banjo. So these guys um, featured some major, major country pickers. Now my copy of The Greatest Hits is a, is a 70s, later 70s album. But their greatest hits, and these are all songs that you're going to be familiar with, um, The Ballad of Jed Clampett, which was the theme for the Beverly Hillbillies. So if you've ever seen that, that show, uh, you know that song. That was Flat and Scruggs. Uh, also, Petticoat Junction. Probably a lesser known show than 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 Beverly Hillbillies, but uh, that, that just goes to show they were the go-to guys when it came to authentic uh, country picking uh, for for people. But uh, I still their version of I still miss someone, uh, which a lot of people know from from Johnny Cash, um, Pearl Pearl Pearl, which was a song featured on the Beverly Hillbillies, uh, My Sarah Jane, uh, which was which was a great recording, and of course Earl's Breakdown. Uh, which featured some of the best uh, banjo playing ever recorded. So Flat and Scruggs, if you enjoy good picking, good grinning, these guys, definitely check them out. That's why I wanted to do them today as today's Daily Record, their greatest hits, Flat and Scruggs, uh, one of the great all-time uh, groups ever. So that's today's Daily Record. Comment, like, share, subscribe, all of that good stuff. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. It's Tommy Burton 75 I love interacting with you guys. Check out the regular channel, Tommy Burton's VC channel. In the meantime, I'll see you all again tomorrow with another Daily Record.